Today in this video, what is kilometer and why use kilometer is what we learn about. Everyone from the village are going on a trip. It was decided that in the morning they would gather near the village well and board a bus together from there for the trip. But Chanda did not know the way to the well from her house. She immediately called Appu and asked him the way. Appu asked her to look at the trip map that they were given. Hey, can you spot your house in the map? Tell me. So now you have to come two kilometers straight from there and then you will reach the well. Okay? Chanda thought that she heard Appu wrong. She told Appu, I think you mistakenly said two kilometers in place of two meters. You do remember, right? Now I know all about meter. On hearing this, Appu laughed. <laughs> Chanda, I did say two kilometers, okay? Chanda was surprised. <gasps> I have understood about centimeter and meter. Now, what is this kilometer? Appu explained it to Chanda. Look, Chanda, since the distance between the two places is a lot, we cannot measure them in centimeters or meters. Centimeters and meters are units of measuring length. Similarly, kilometers is the unit to measure the distance between two places. One kilometer is equal to 1000 meters. Appu told Chanda. Look, can you see Golu's dairy on the map? The dairy is 3 kilometers away from the bus stop. Chanda quickly noticed the places on her map and also saw the distance written between them. Now Chanda said to Appu, Appu, I can see your house and mine on the map too. And 4 kilometers is written between your house and my house. So, is my house 4 kilometers away from your house? Yes, Chanda. You have read the map correctly. Very good. Chanda said to Appu. But Appu... If 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meters, then we will not be able to measure it with a measuring tape or a ruler. So how can we measure the distance between two places? You cannot measure a kilometer with a measuring tape or a ruler. Special resources are used for this, okay? You can only find the distance between two places by the distances written on the signs on the road. Alright. Well, tomorrow when we go for the trip, then I will look at these signs carefully. When you meet me tomorrow, then tell me more about the kilometer. Okay? Okay. Appu said and then disconnected the call. How was the trip of the villagers the next day? And what else did Appu tell Chanda about kilometer? We will see this in the next video. Kids, today in this video, what is kilometer and why is kilometer used is what we learned about. In the next video, we will learn more about kilometer with some interesting examples. Kids, 
In the previous video, we learned what are kilometers and why we use it. In this video, we will learn more about kilometers by some interesting examples. The next day, all the village people gathered near the well. There was some time left for the bus to arrive. Chanda then showed Appu a map of his outing and asked him to tell her more about the kilometer. Children, have you seen a map before? Maps often include places and distances between them. Come, let's see what else Appu is telling Chanda about this map. Look at this Chanda. We will start from the well. And first, we will go to the fair. As I told you on the phone yesterday, you can see the distance from here to the fair on the map. See, the distance is written on the map as 3 kilometers. Appu said to Chanda, Kids, can you see this map and tell how many kilometers away from the fair is the lake? Absolutely right! The distance from the fair to the lake is 1 kilometer. Now Chanda saw on the map that the distance from the lake to the railway station is 4 kilometers and that of the park from the lake is 2 kilometer. Now Chanda is thinking that which place is closer to the lake? Railway station or park? Kids, can you help Chanda find the answer to this question? If you want, you can pause the video and find the answer. Well done kids! The answer you found is correct. Because 2 kilometers is less than 4 kilometers, hence the park is closer to the lake. Appu asks Chanda to answer a question. If uncle's house is 7 kilometer from the park and Bablu's house is 5 kilometers away, then whose house is more distant from the park? Children, do you know the answer to Appu's question? Yes, since 7 kilometer is greater distance than 5 kilometers, uncle's house is at more distance than the park. Chanda too quickly found the answer to Appu's question just like you. She danced happily knowing more about the kilometer. Then the bus arrived there and all the villagers boarded the bus and set out on their trip. Kids, in this video, we learned more about kilometers with some interesting examples. In the next video, we will see some common mistakes related to this. In the previous video, we learned more about kilometer with some interesting examples. In this video, we will see some common mistakes related to this. Raju and Bablu are going to play at Chanda's house. Raju tells Bablu that his house is closer to Chanda's house. But Bablu is arguing with Raju that their two houses are at equal distances from Chanda's house. Raju asks Bablu, How far is his house from Chanda's house? Bablu tells him that his house 
is five kilometers away from Chanda's house. Then Bablu asks him, how far is his house from Chanda's house? Raju said, at a distance of five meters. Children, can you tell me? Is it right? Even though in the distance, numbers of Raju and Bablu's houses, five are the same. The distance unit of Raju's house is in meters. And the distance unit of Bablu's house is kilometers. And kids, you do know which one of these two units is bigger, don't you? Yes, kilometer is a larger unit than meter. Because one kilometer is equal to 1000 meters. So, whose point is correct? Right! Raju's argument is right. His house is closer to Chanda's house. Kids, remember that whenever we have to compare distances or lengths, then we should compare not only their numbers, but also their units. Now Bablu told Raju, even though his house is farther from Chanda's house, but it is definitely closer to Golu's house. His house is two kilometers away from Golu's house and Raju's house is 50 meters away from Golu's house and two less than 50. Therefore, his house is closer to Golu's house. Kids, what do you think? Is Bablu's point correct this time? Yes, Bablu is wrong again. This time, the number in the distance from Golu's house to Bablu's house, 2 is lesser than the number in the distances from Golu's house to Raju's house, that is 50. But once again, Bablu did not pay attention to their units when comparing the distances. His house is 2 km from Golu's house. And Raju's house is 50 meters from Golu's house. Even though 2 is less than 50, but because the meter is smaller than kilometer, Raju's house is closer to Golu's house. Bablu finally understood Raju and both of them went to play at Chanda's house. Kids, in this video, we saw some common mistakes related to measuring distances in kilometers.